p.m. and he sent it in to uh, Hernandez in front of the goal and it got headed away uh, by the Rams. Last touch by the Pioneers. So uh, Blumenberg is going to put this ball back into play for the Rams. 2-12, 2-10 let's say in the first half left with the Pioneers up 5-0. <laughs> Once again, Blumenberg will put this one back into play. So 11.30 left, and nobody seems in a very big hurry to put this. We've got a substitution. Looks like 22 for them has come on. That is Daniel Gahunde. And I didn't see who went off. It's probably the guy talking to their coach on the far side. Let's see if I can get a number for you, Kev. That is number, number, turn around, 16. 16 has come off. That's just so you know, Kevin, that is Nicholas Papavasilopoulos who has come off for the Rams. And Daniel Gahunde has come on. Meanwhile, the ball has gone out of bounds with 10.28 left in the first half, thrown in by the Rams over on the far sideline. Pioneers try a little give and go. It didn't work. The uh, Rams were there waiting for it. They spoiled it. Now a stoppage of play, and the Pioneers are able to free kick this ball back into play. Ball right around midfield, now back in the Pioneers. The red, that's how I'm going to remember his name. See, I won't have to look it up each time. I just looked for the color of his hair. That's Richmond. This one goes out of play on the far sideline. And the uh, Pioneers will throw it in. It comes in to Magnoli down in the corner on the far side. Deep in the Ram zone. This one goes out of bounds on the Rams, and the Pioneers throw it in from about 19 yards out. Now there's some discussion about uh, something, and now we're about ready to throw it in. We do. It goes in. The throw in goes to Magnoli. Kind of a little give and go there. Doesn't work. Ball goes out again on the Rams. Uh, Alessandro Felisola and uh, Marco Magnoli had a little game going on there, but didn't result in the eye. Now this one goes out of bounds on Leonardo Amaral, and it uh, and the uh, the Rams will throw the ball in. So with eight and a half minutes left in the first half, Pioneers up five nothing. On the far side of the field. Now a stoppage of play, and the Rams are awarded a free kick. Ball goes up high in the air against this wind. Trying to get control of it down there. Pioneers complain that they were held. This one goes in, and now a shot by, uh, looks like number 17. I could be wrong about that but fielded easily by Zamora, the Pioneer goalie. And the Pioneers come away with it. Ryan Nadeau with the ball. Now down deep past the uh, defense, but too far for Preza Yeni to catch up with. That was a good idea. 
but with the wind at your back like that, it's just, I'm sure it's very difficult. And this ball, <laughs> this ball, oh my gosh, this ball is 30 yards away from the uh, Ram player. He was go going after it, and they found another ball. They said, here, come get this one. We'll go get that one later. So uh, that ball rolled probably 50 yards before it finally got to a fence down there. The Rams throw it in, but the Pioneers take control. This is Hernandez. Sent it over to Magnoli. Magnoli trying to get a foot on the ball. Rams defense stepped up and cleared it. Down the far right side, Hernandez on defense. This one goes out of bounds. No, there was, must have been a foul called on the Pioneers because the Rams are uh, getting a free kick. From down in their end of the field, 6.20 left in the first half. This one kicked up in the air, and uh, Ayeni gets to it before anybody. And now the Rams, number 22, uh, Xander Quillen, tries to get the ball. Pioneers are back on defense, though. Ayeni back to Pike. Back to the redhead, Richmond. Now over on the far side to Pesci. Back to Richmond. 5.45 left in the first half. And now, good footwork by Xander Quillen. Takes that ball away briefly from the Pioneers, but they get control of it again. Says Pike to Richmond. To uh, Nadeau. Now, Nadeau sends it way downfield, trying to get the ball over the top behind the defense. And this one rolls out on the Pioneers. <clears throat> and uh, here's a substitution number. Wow, I just can't get a glass on those guys. So, uh, 29 comes in. I don't have a 29, so uh, we'll have to guess at who that might be. Meanwhile, the Rams, on the attack, send the ball over to the far side. It's going to go out of bounds. Oh, that's Gahunde. See, I've got him. That's 20. I've got him as 21. Hmm. So the Pioneers throw the ball in from down in their defensive end, and something was awry with that, and the official stops things, and they're going to throw it in again. The uh, Ram player comes off the field. He's putting something on his leg. It's seemingly, oh, uh, he, may, uh, he may be bleeding. Okay. That's probably what that is. <clears throat> so the official stopped play and told him to get off the field. He went over there and put something on that knee. Now he's going to try and come back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, they're playing shorthanded, are the Rams, until he can get back on the field. Pioneers now with a man advantage. the side the Rams will throw this ball in. Meanwhile, that player has come back in. Just across midfield now are the Rams, but the Pioneers come up from behind and take it away. Nice play there by Felisola to take that ball away from the Rams. He sends it downfield, but the Rams take it away. Now Magnoli has it. Sends the ball in. Back to Hernandez. He had a shot. That looked like a handball to me. Must not have been. The Rams were able to clear it. That was a good that was a good look by Hernandez. But a Ram player was back there on defense. Knocked that ball away. Now 
Hernandez again sends it over to Ma uh, to uh, to Amaral, and the ball trickles out just to the goalie's right at the end line. And with 2.10 left, two minutes left in the first half, Pioneers are going to have another corner kick. Nadeau has been the, no, this is going to be Magnoli. Nadeau has been doing all of the corner kicks. This is going to be Magnoli on the corner kick with one, a minute and 49 seconds left in the first half. Magnoli kicks it in way high, way long. Run down over there by uh, Chion. Chion reverses field, sends the ball in toward the goal, and Blumenberg falls on it. And with a minute and a half left in the first half, Pioneers up 5 nothing. Rams put the ball back into play. Now advancing the ball across midfield are the Rams. This is Ryan Sibley. Sends a shot way across the field. And unable to keep that one from going out of bounds is Augustus Aldonis. Ball goes out of bounds and with 52 seconds left, Pioneers not in a real big hurry to go and get that ball and bring it back. Alessandro Felisolo, though, does it. Brings it back to the sideline, throws it in, Rams head it back, and they have maintained control of that Pioneer throw in. Now the ball is cleared by Pesci, and at midfield, there's a fight for the ball, and the Rams prevail. A one-on-three break down there by the Rams, number 22, Xander Quillen, and that goes nowhere fast. Now the ball it goes out of bounds, and it is out on the Rams. The Pioneers will throw it in with five seconds left. So uh, this first half is going to be over before the ball even gets inbounded. So the first half comes to a close. The Pioneers explode for five goals in the first half and lead 5 nothing over the Rams from Texas Wesleyan University. I'm Dan Ziegler, the voice of WBU Athletics. We're at halftime. I'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes to uh, wrap up the first half, give you in this second half. So we're about two minutes away from the beginning of the second half. I'm Dan Ziegler, the voice of WBU Athletics, and I'm going to back out of here for about
So the second half has begun. The Rams have Sebastian Almarez in goal this half after uh, Blumenberg got five goals scored against him. And the uh, Pioneers with the ball in the circle. And they do over to Pike. Now the Rams clear the ball. And it's a race. And there, um, some water got to it. Now the ball sent to the other side of the field. Pike to Ayeni to Richmond. Now up the near side, this is Chion now in the middle of the field. They do. Now over on the far side, this is Magnoli. Now a little give and go too uh, far ahead of Chion for him to uh, be able to get a shot off. Ball goes out the end line. And uh, their goalie, Sebastian Almarez, puts the ball in play. However, the Pioneers get control of the ball. Fizola, now a shot goes in and it went around behind the uh, net. So that was a shot over there by, wow. Just hard to see these numbers, man. I think that shot was not Magnoli. Oh, uh, yeah, that shot was uh, 26. Leonardo Amaral that attempted that shot down here. <clears throat> Went out the end line. It was wide to the goalie's right side. And we've got a uh, Ram player down. It's a number in the teens, number 13. Eighteen, maybe eighteen. No, it's not. No, Kevin, it's not eighty-one. It is eighteen. So, a uh, number eighteen for the Rams, Ryland Sibley is off and they're going to play one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're going to play a man down until they can get Sibley back on the field. Pioneers throwing the ball in from uh, just on their side of midfield. This one goes back to Alex Pike. He sends it over to Magnoli, back to, to uh, that was Praise Allende. Now the ball in the circle, controlled by the Rams so far. Here's a Ram player that hits the ground hard, and uh, the Rams are going to get a free kick right at midfield in the circle. They send it down, and the ball goes right to uh, Elias Zamora. Now the Pioneers have the ball. A little one-on-one uh, -on -one break, and there's a trip. Not called. No foul called there. That looked pretty obvious as uh, Amaral was going for the ball down there. There's a hold right there. Really obvious against Pesci and a free kick for the Rams on the Pioneer side of midfield. This is number six, Osvaldo Castaneda, putting the ball in play for the Rams. 
He waits for his men to get into place, into position. And sends this one down in toward the box. Headed away down there by uh, Alessandro Felisola. Now this uh, shot goes wide to Zamora's right side and out the end line. Pesci with the ball. Over to Sibley. Now over on the far side of the field. This is uh, back to uh, Pike. Richmond. Now the Rams have the ball. Carlos Rodriguez for the Rams. Rams trying to get the ball across midfield to get it out of their end of the field. Pioneer defense is really standing up, and the Rams just can't get any offense going. This is Hernandez coming down the near side. Tries to send him Magnoli. Hernandez is down, holding his head. Play goes on. Referee is going to come over here and see it. Now timeout. As the referee stops play, Hernandez holding his head. So that was a uh, factor. It's going to help him to his feet. Hernandez, only 5'4", from Bogota, Colombia. Stays in the game. And the Rams get a free kick to put the ball back into play. This ball going over to the far side of the field. And a uh, shot down there. And <clears throat> Zamora... That one went right into his bread basket. He fielded it. And it'll be put back into play by the Rams. Kick comes down toward the goal. Headed away there by Zamora. Now this shot attempted uh, goes wide to Zamora's left. And high. Pike with the ball. Ayeni with the ball. Tries to get the ball over the defense. This shot, oh man, that was so close. Praise Ayeni uh, attempted a shot from about 33 yards out. And it hit the... Uh, the goalie's right goal post. That's how close that was to going in. Rams with the ball in play. Magnoli now takes the ball away. Sends it over to the far side of the field. Now advancing on goal. The shot, uh, uh, that was actually a pass. And it was too tall for uh, Felizola. Here on the near side, it goes out of bounds. And the Rams will put it back in play. They'll have a throw in. Trying to clear this ball out of their zone now. Pioneers get it back though. Hernandez gets pushed in the back. No foul called. Nadeau sends it across the field to Ayeni. Now it goes all the way back to the Pioneer goalie, Samora. He kicks it back into play. Lewis Richmond with the ball. Now he sends it back to Pesci. Now across the field to Pike. Kick 
kicks it across the midfield stripe on the far side. Magnoli now clear across the field over here to Fe Felisola. Felisola trying to work for a shot. He's got a shot. Oh, man. Sent a shot into the middle of the field, into the middle of the uh, uh, the middle of the pitch, and uh, Amaral almost headed that ball in. It went just over the uh, crossbar. That would have been a pretty impressive play. A beautiful pass and a header that almost went in. Rams put it back into play after the missed shot on goal. And now the Pioneers... Alex Pike over to Magnoli, not Pesci, sorry. Richmond to Felisola to Richmond. Richmond sends it into the circle, handled there by Magnoli. Now on the far side by Pike, he sends it down the field, but the Rams get ahead on it, and uh, right now a fight has ensued for the ball. Penalty called, or foul called, and the Rams will get a free kick from about 10, 12 yards inside their end of the field. Now all the way down the field, this ball goes out the end line, and the Pioneers will put this one back into play. So Zamora puts the ball on the ground, kicks it back into play. This is Richmond with the ball. Into Hernandez. He sends it down to Felizola. Back to Hernandez in the middle. Lots of black shirts there. Dark navy blue. Ball almost gets away. It does get away from the goalie, and there's a shot, a beautiful shot. B the ball got away from goalie uh, Sebastian Almaraz, and uh, was that Magnoli again? 26. 26. That was uh, uh, Leonardo Amaral for his first goal of the night. And uh, once again, their goalie not able to pick that ball up. It stayed on the ground, and Amaral was right there and kicked it into an open net. And the Pioneers go up 6 nothing. So with 32-33 uh, left in the match, the Pioneers put the ball back into, uh, the Rams put the ball back into play after the Pioneer goal. 6 nothing. Rams send this one way up in the air over to the Far sideline. Praise a Yenny is over there though. Put on the ball. Now it goes back to the pioneer goalie, Zamora. So back to Pesci. Pesci back to Zamora. Now over to Pike. Pike to Magnoli. Back to Pike. Pike to Magnoli, back to Pike, Pike back to Zamora. Zamora to Richmond. Richmond to Magnoli, up to Ayeni. Now Ayeni kicks it back to uh, Pike. Pike back to Zamora. Now Ryan Nadeau gets in the act. Kicks it downfield. We've got a man behind the defense. That's Felizoli. Gets pushed off the ball. Felizoli fakes. Now Hernandez has a foot on the ball. He's right in close. And a beautiful feed to uh, Amaral for his second goal in a row. So a beautiful assist by Hernandez to Amaral right in front of the goal. And the Pioneers go up 7 nothing. So that thing we've been saying about the wind, never mind. It's not affecting the guys as much as it did the women. 
Pioneer is still able to control the ball even though they're going against this 20 mile an hour wind. Rams put the ball back into play after the Pioneer goal. And the Pioneers take the ball away again, deep in Ram territory. This is this is uh, Chion to Richmond to Hernandez. Hernandez takes a shot. It's over the crossbar and out the back end. Hernandez decides, why not? Everybody else is scoring. Shot was a little high. A couple of feet over the crossbar. And the uh, goalie, yeah, had to go back and get a drink. Almarez. Now we've got some substitutions. 15 and 13 off. 11 and 7 on. So uh, Gerardo Perdomo comes on and Daniel Vasquez come on for the Pioneers. This is Richmond. The Pioneers still on the attack. The Rams not able to clear this ball even after a Pioneer goal. This is uh, Cortez who is on for the Pioneers. Richmond in front of the goal gets kicked away by a uh, Ram defender. Richmond was right in front of the goal about 20 yards out. But the Ram defender got his foot on the ball. Now this is Perdomo and offsides. Vasquez was, uh, it was either Vasquez or Nadeau that was offsides on that play. So the Rams put the ball back into play with 28-45 left in the match. And the Pioneers up 7 nothing. Down the far side of the field come the Rams. Pioneers head the ball out. That was Vasquez that headed that ball out. The throw in by the uh, Rams. A couple of players on the ground, no foul called. A shot attempt, and I didn't see, Kevin, who, the, who tried that shot, but uh, Zamora was all over it, smothered it, and the F Pioneers come back up quickly. Nadeau with the ball. Off a defender's leg, and Nadeau keeps control of the ball. Now... Cortez with the ball. Centers it in. Oh, man, almost. That was a beautiful pass. Cortez to uh, 11. It must be Perdomo. Shot by Perdomo went over the crossbar. So the Pioneers shooting often in this game. The Rams... Once again, just not able to clear these balls out of their end of the field. Pioneers' defense is all over them. And now the Rams kick it out of bounds, uh, a pass that uh, where the intended receiver of the pass went one way and the ball was going the other. So Pioneers take the ball. This is Pesci. Back over to Richmond. Back across the field to Magnoli, to Felisola. Now over here to Pesci, and Pesci sends it right to the Rams. And Pesci <laughs> tackles tackles his man to keep him away from the ball, and the Rams will have a free kick right at midfield. About two and a half yards inside midfield. This one goes down toward the goal, right into Zamora's hands. So that was number six, um, Osvaldo Castaneda, who tried that shot from midfield, and it went right into uh, 
Zamora's hands. Not a bad play with the wind at your back. Didn't work this time. Felisola over here to the near side to Cortez. Cortez off to Naidu. Naidu now. Little give and go around the defender. That was a nice play by Vasquez. Uh, and he almost had Cortez on a give and go. Pioneer still on the attack, though. There is a uh, really fighting for this ball. Player lost his shoe. That's uh, Nadu. Lost his shoe. He's just going to carry it with him while he comes downfield. And now he's going to stop and put it on as Zamora gets the ball for the Pioneers. Sends it to Richmond in the middle of the field. He sends it to the far side. Now up the far sideline. And now a one on four break. However, got behind the defense and the uh, Ram goalie picks the ball up. Another near score there by the Pioneers. That would have been Perdomo who was going after that ball. Goalie got to do it first. Pesci to Felisola to Cortez. Cortez to Felisola. Felisola up to Vasquez. Now back over to Pesci. Now Pesci to Redmond. Now Pioneers advancing on goal again. That's a tackle. Not called. Yes, it's called. Once play stops, they'll enforce this. And now finally, uh, Vasquez gets double teamed and kicks the ball out. But there is a foul called, I think. Let's see what happens here. The Rams go and get the ball as it was kicked out the near sideline and they will put the ball into play on a throw in however the Pioneers intercept it this is Felisoli he's out in front of the goal a little give and go behind the player and uh, that's number who was that we'll get that number for you Uh, eight? Yes. Number nine on the scoring play for the Pioneers. That's Hector Perez. So a beautiful little give and go there. Uh, got the ball behind the defense, and Perez had an easy shot on goal. He was one-on-one -on -one with the goalie, and uh, no match. And this score goes to eight to nothing now. There's a pioneer player down, and the ball goes out of bounds. Everyone exhibiting the appropriate amount of concern as the player gets up. Doesn't need crutches. He's okay. Pesci with the ball to Felizola. Over to Nadu. Nadu gives and goes to Cortez. Back to Nadu. Now over here on the near side to Cortez. Back to Nadu. Nadu trying to work for a shot. Trying to get around his man. Can't do it. And the Rams clear the ball. This one goes back to Alex Pike. And he's going to send it back to Zamora. Zamora back to Alex Pike on the far side of the field. Pike to uh, Richmond. Back to Felizola. This is Perdomo to Felizola. Felizola gets around his man. 
nothing going on there. Goes to Nadu to Cortez, to Nadu to Corsairs, back to Pesci. Now across the field. This is Alex Pike over there working with the ball. Now in the circle is Felizola. Now he centers it down. Cortez is open. Now the defense is getting there. Cortez tries to send the ball in. It goes in. The goalie gets it. Wow. And uh, the goalie once again mishandled the ball, did not handle it cleanly. And um, Perdomo was right there, but when he kicked it, he kicked it right back into the goalie's hands. And this time, Almarez held on to the ball. Another really good scoring attempt by the Pioneers as they've kept pressure on this entire game. The Rams just not able to get out of their zone. This ball goes upfield for the Rams. Player trips and falls. And this is Carlos Rodriguez who puts the ball back in play for the Rams. Goes upfield. And <laughs> that's same, poor guy, same Ram player who got tripped down here, got tripped again. And he's hobbling and mad that no fouls are being called and still hobbling and still mad coming down the center of the field. Still limping as Felizola gets the ball. Felizola gets around his man, now kicks it back to Redmond. And a yellow card. A yellow card, and I'm guessing that's against Felizola. <clears throat> I didn't see what he did wrong, but uh, that's who the official was talking to after the play. So the Rams put the ball in play inside the circle. Now this shot all the way down and over everything and rolls all the way to that fence that's 40 yards away. So uh, they come up with another ball quickly and the Pioneers We'll put it back into play. Zamora <clears throat> with 18.40 left in the match. Is this a substitute? Yes, I believe it is. 22 comes on. That is Xander Quillen. And Robinson Mugisha goes off for the Rams. Pioneers with the ball. This is Perdomo. Give and go down to... Uh, they do, and uh, offsides by the Pioneers. The Rams free kick the ball from about halfway into their end of the field. Giovanni Angon puts it in play for the Rams, and they come up the far side into the Pioneer zone now. And a trip foul called against the Pioneers, and the Rams will get a free kick. And they're going to be about 28 yards. Now, boys, there's some disagreement between players down there. And uh, the official steps in. There was a little bit of pushing and shoving, and that, and that was uh, that was Felizola again, I think. So a free kick coming for the Rams, and they're about 23 yards out. Kick smothered by Zamora. So that shot goes right into Zamora's arms.
Richmond sends the ball over to the far sideline. This one trickles out of bounds out on the Rams. Pioneers throw it in. Not real aggressive going to the ball, and uh, the uh, Rams get control of it. It goes down to Zamora, though. He picks it up, and the Pioneers have it back in play. This is Magnoli. Now on the far side, having a little trouble with the ball over there. This is Richmond into Perdomo. Perdomo over here to back to Nadu now. Tried to get it into uh, Perdomo. And offsides called against the Rams. And Stefano Pesci will put the ball back into play for the Pioneers. Fifteen and a half minutes left in the match. The Pioneers with a commanding 8 nothing lead. Pesci bluffs one approach to the ball. And now kicks it. Comes down here the, down the near side. Tried to get it over the defender's head. Tried to play that one over the top. Now this ball kicked out of bounds. And it's on the track. And it's going to... No, it got back on the grass. If it had stayed on the track, though, those balls will roll forever. It's on the track. And the track is, uh, is uh, slanted just a little bit in the corners. And it finally rolls back onto the grass. Meanwhile, 31. So uh, Alec Martinez comes in for the Pioneers. And 31, David Russell, a freshman, comes in. Freshman from Bushland, Texas. Gets to handle the ball a little bit. Sends it back to Zamora over on the far side of the field as Coach Sajimba is probably going to bring and let everybody play today. Richmond. Goes into Vasquez. Now Vasquez back out to Martinez. To Vasquez. To Perdomo. Perdomo. Little slick footwork to try to get around his man. Can't. Felisola. Now this ball goes out of bounds. Attempted pass from uh, Russell to uh, to Vasquez, and Vasquez not able to keep the ball in bounds. Rams take over. 13 minutes and 18 seconds left in the match. This one goes down the field, headed away down there by the Pioneers. Now it's kicked back to Zamora. Zamora comes over to the near side to Martinez. Martinez to Felizola. Now Perdomo. Perdomo trying to break away. Sends it over to the right. And this pass taken away by the Rams. And here they come. Now they're on a breakaway. They've got a man one-on-one -on -one with Zamora. And uh, Zamora, I think, deflected that ball. He had Zamora one-on-one. -on -one. He was moving in toward the goal, and it looked like uh, Zamora deflected that ball, and it goes out the end line. So now they're searching for a ball to play with. There's one on the fence about 40 yards away, and here's one on the inside of the track. It's going to be a corner kick for the Rams. Can you see who that is? A 
I'll have a number for you folks here in just a second. Yes, it was. <clears throat> and whatever happened on the corner kick, I could <laughs> I had the glasses up to my uh, the Rams are going to get a the ball in play. Wow, that was sneaky. I don't know that the official was ready for them to get back to play or not. They may have to do that again. Yeah. This shot goes over the heads of the defenders, but to Zamora's right-hand side past the goal. So, uh, number 11, Chihiro Ichimura. Chihiro Ichimura with that shot. No good. Now over on the far side of the field, fighting for the ball over there. Players grappling with each other and finally goes out of bounds. And it's out of bounds on the Pioneers. So the Rams will throw this ball in. Looks like they're going to try to elect somebody to do that. And I think I think the election has been won, and uh, they will put the ball into play. This is actually a free kick. It's not a throw-in. The Rams now send the ball down toward goal. It goes past goalie Samora once again to his left. And out the end line, and Zamora kicks the ball back into play with 9.50 left in the match. It's Martinez with the ball for the Pioneers. He sends it over toward the middle of the field to Redmond. Richmond, sorry. See, I've been saying Richmond the redhead, and now I'm calling him Redmond. I don't know how that works, but it does in my brain. Now, breakaway. Uh, wow, that has got to be a penalty call. Yes, it is. The official going down there. Nope, he's just checking on the player. Wow. That looked like a very obvious push from behind. In the meantime, the ball goes out of bounds here on the near side down in the Pioneers defensive zone. David Russell picks the ball up. He will throw it in for the Pioneers. Throws it into Perdomo. Perdomo in traffic. Maintains control. Goes over to Alex Pike. He sends it to the far side of the field. Pike again with the ball to Felizola. Felizola kicks it over here to the near side to uh, Martinez. Martinez coming up the field with it. Nice little kick there by uh, Nadeau to get the ball in. And this is a shot a little too far ahead of the uh, Pioneer offense. But the ball did not go out of bounds. And this still in play. This is and there's a shot. That was uh, Ryan Nadeau who had been working that ball that whole time. Worked it in. Finally got it inside the box and took a shot. And it was uh, deflected away by the uh, goalie, Sebastian Almaraz. It goes out of bounds on the far side. The Pioneers throw it in with 7 minutes and 30 seconds left in the match. Pioneers up 8 nothing. Now another attack by the Pioneers. A shot goes wide. I'm sorry? Nine. Nine. That was uh, Elton Teddy who's in the game for the Pioneers. With that shot, and it went to the goalie's 
left side outside the uh, goal post. So Almarez puts the ball back into play for the Rams. Ball play is stopped. And the Pioneers get a free kick. They put it back in, into play around midfield. Richmond tries to get it over the heads of the defenders. Some pretty good footwork over there. Not able to get the ball in for a shot. They got almost to the box before the uh, Ram defense collapsed. Pioneer still down deep in the Ram zone. Ball goes out of bounds on the Rams. Daniel Vasquez throws it in. Perdomo with the ball, trying to get around. Got his feet tangled up with the Ram defender. The Rams try to clear. And this one goes out of bounds off of the Pioneers. So the Rams will throw the ball in from their, their end of the field. Carlos Rodriguez throws the ball in. It goes back to Alec Martinez of the Pioneers, kicks it back to Zamora with five minutes and 20 seconds left in the match. Pioneers in no hurry now. Perdomo with the ball. They advance it up the left sideline, and that was a nice pass there by uh, David Russell to get behind the defense, but there were no uh, Pioneer attackers there to take over. Ryan Nadeau sends the ball in. Uh, number nine, again, Elton Teddy with a shot. The goalie batted the ball away, and fortunately for the Rams, they were able to, uh, they were able to uh, maintain control of that ball after their goalie did not, was not able to pick it up. Ball goes back over the midfield stripe, and the Pioneers throw it in after it goes out of bounds. They kick it back to Martinez. Martinez up to Perdomo. Perdomo looking to go back to the middle of the field with it. He does to Pesci. Pesci steps around his man. Now over to the far side to Alex Pike. Pike to Richmond. Richmond to Perdomo. Back over to Pike. To Perdomo. To Pike. To Richmond. Now to Nadeau. Richmond sends it way over to the far side of the field where Pesci lives. That was actually Magnoli. Pioneer still with the ball. Now they send it back into their zone. Now in the circle is Richmond. Now he gets it past the defenders. And a, uh, a Ram defender able to get to the ball. Perdomo. Perdomo was the uh, Wayland player who was uh, after that ball. And uh, the uh, Ram player who had defended Now the ball on the far sideline, the Rams in control. Two minutes and 10 seconds left in the match. 
So the Pioneers are going to, there's a yellow card. And I think it's given to that player that's right in front of the referee right now. Number 22 gets a yellow card. That's Xander Quillen. And one minute and 40 seconds left. This is a shot down toward the goal. Zamora gets the ball. And the Pioneers are going on what would be called in basketball a fast break. And they get past the defenders with their offsides. Wow. <laughs> they got behind the defense, but they were offsides. Minute and 17 seconds left in the match. The Pioneers are going to come away with a dominating win against the Rams. The hapless Rams, we might say, because they're going to be 0-5 in conference play after this game. This ball goes out of bounds with 55 seconds left, and the Pioneers put it back in. It comes over here to the near side to Martinez. It goes back to Zamora to Pesci. Pioneers really in no hurry to work this ball down the field. However, they do go over the top, and they're going to try another attack. This one kicked away by a Ram defender, and it goes out the end line. This will be a corner kick for the Pioneers with 20 seconds left in the match. And a corner kick... Pioneers still working toward the goal. And there's a header by uh, Perdomo. Yes. Gerardo Perdomo on a header. Just as time expired. No, 11. Just as time expired, I'm... I'm not absolutely certain the goal counted. I wasn't, didn't have my eyes on the clock. So it looked like another goal. The Pioneers win this one as time runs out, nine to nothing, over the Rams. So the Rams go to uh, 0 and 5 in conference play. And the uh, Pioneers go to 3-2-1 uh, in conference play. So uh, that'll help them in the standings. I'm going to back away for a few minutes while we get some stats together. I'll come back and, and uh, wrap this game up. I'm Dan Ziegler, the voice of WBU Athletics, and we'll be right back. 